Good morning. Pretty cold. Got the truck. The water trucks both running. They are headed to Flagstaff. Need to get them serviced before we uh, blow them up. Got Mike showing up decently early. So some of these guys live in Kayenta and some live in Tuba City. No snow in Tuba City, but Harvin and Steven walked out of their houses this morning and they're like, hey, it snowed. Like kind of strange. I think it's kind of weird. You got a little bit of snow. And then Stanley, he lives on the north side of Navajo Mountain. I live on the south end, Arizona side. He lives on the Utah side. But his car was pretty, uh, pretty snowy. Got some snow on there. Beautiful. Let's hope it's going to be a, a early winter. I'm hoping it's going to be early winter. I like the snow. I love the snow. But I also love the sun. There's Howard. Epic sun shot. Steven's on his way out. This truck is so full. Ty is taking the, the long bed 250 because the backhoe needs fuel and the 350 has a diesel tank. They're taking off now. That thing is packed. It's going to be pretty heavy. And as soon as we load that thing with diesel, <laughs> it's just going to bounce. It's like barely even touching the... Uh, the, the overload spring. Got Mike with me. Snow on the peaks. One of these days I wanna wanna try snow hiking. Hike up there. Get all bundled up like a marshmallow. Me and Steven are heading to Grand Falls. We gotta go to Black Falls, but cutting through Grand Falls. And I hope that Grand Falls is not running the water. The chick had her uh, window open and she <laughs> <laughs> rolled it up. We are the dig deep four wheelers. This is Steven's first time being here. We used to set 275 tanks here around this whole area. And I, I thought I remember bringing Steven here, but he's never seen it running. I've never seen it running. And right now, it is running. It looks pretty cool. Looks like chocolate milk. I don't know if you can hear, but water is running. Flow. 
Flagstaff has snow. place that we are going to is so far like losing a whole day just to get out here <clears throat> came all the way out here to learn that they replaced that water pump already Try and give some discretion and privacy for these, a lot of these homes. I don't want to show too much of where they actually live. This place is so far. The road is so rough. Steven and their uh, previous employee a while back ago were delivering water to this, to this house. And when they got here, that trailer it was on the 1400 gallon trailer with a truck and the truck was a gasoline not a, not a diesel and then they tried to go up this like really steep incline that a wash and the back of the trailer got stuck and the whole truck got stuck there was just stopped for how long the whole day <laughs> it got here like at 10. And they were stuck here for a long time. I was in Dilcon at that time and I remember getting the text but these guys have to like walk pretty far just to get any kind of cell service and I don't have any cell service right now I'm trying to get a hold of Mike but I remember getting the text and I took off and they're like oh we actually got out. <laughs> I mean, talk to Steve and, and the other guy and then he was like yeah it's digging the whole time <laughs> big man <laughs> oh, yeah, Ashton, that was crazy Our little weird conversations I could not add on this video. <laughs> but man, this, this house is so far. So, so far. And you, you know you're in the res when you have to open and close these gates. But. Yeah, I try and not, try and keep a little bit of a discretion for the homeowners not showing where they live and stuff like that but I've got to say it's like Tatooine out here very quiet very far from a lot of things I remember talking to this uh, homeowner when we first used to come back here that they used to have a snow snow used to be all the way up to their knees and now you know they're older now they don't have a lot of snow hardly any rain
So yeah, we we've been to that house before. It was a long time ago when we were uh, actually hauling these around. We have two of them, 1,400 gallons of water. And we dropped off those 275 tanks, cinder bricks, cinder blocks. And that, I forgot how long that drive was. That was a long way having to go from Shanto to Flagstaff and then go almost to Loop but then through Grand Falls and then to that place that's called Black Falls. So long. It took 15 minutes to get from the main dirt road, snake all the way to the guy's house, take a look at the house. We're supposed to give a, supposed to help him out with how to change out that water pump. Or give it, get an idea of what's going on. They already changed it out, which good for them. You know they have running water now, but kind of bad for us because we got there super, super late, and we got back kind of late. Not too late, but you know we still still made it back late. But man, 15 minutes both ways—that's a long way. And yeah, it, it looks cool. But I, that's, I don't know, I'm just lost of words of how far that house was. It's cool on the back side of that house, it overlooks Flagstaff, which I was hoping to get a shot of, but I didn't want to like weird out the, the homeowner with us driving behind their house and stuff like that, or to pull out a camera. So I kind of like just try and keep that separated with trying to be respectful in that way but also wanting to do it so I just have to remember to keep that keep that separated so I don't show too much and keep their stuff private yep it's fun to get back it's a little cold let me throw my jacket on sun is still up I'm getting ready to head home and tomorrow is water haul days for some of the guys. Actually, tomorrow is another boring day of working on these trucks, getting them cleaned, detailed, oil change on two of them. So, I don't think I'll pull this bad boy out. So, I'll see you guys probably Wednesday. Wednesday is the next time I'll see you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.